Originally, we started out from uh, Cleveland Circle at about 5 o'clock, and we're about two-thirds of the way there. The Sitco sign down by Fenway just came into view. We're, we're headed toward uh, Amory Park here in Brookline, where there's going to be some speeches, and people are going to hold a moment of silence in honor of George Floyd. Now, the crowd numbers several hundred people at least, maybe into the thousands. They grew exponentially in the last few minutes just before we set off. Uh, the crowd is overwhelmingly white, but that's just like Brookline. Brookline is only 3% black, so a lot of people have told us that, you know, if, an, if, a, if a protest like this is happening in Brookline, in a community like Brookline, that signals that real change is happening in this movement. Here's a, one of the organizers a short time ago. I personally, I think a lot of people can agree that you don't want to be here right now. You don't want to be here, especially in the middle of a pandemic. This is crazy that we have to fight for our lives, our rights in the middle of a global crisis. So a lot of the signs, in addition to calling for justice and for the, an end to racism, are talking about defunding police departments all across the United States. A lot of the protesters believe that police are getting too much money for military-style equipment, and they want to see more money devoted towards social programs and specifically to helping people of color. So again, we're on our way to Amory Park in Brookline. Reporting live in Brookline, I'm David Beattie, WCVB News Center 5. All right, David.